I present to you the fourth dimensional tower. The fourth dimensional tower is a structure that is actually as big as a harmless, a simple harmless cube. Let's fix these cameras first. <coughs> See up, down, up, down. So you see this. Um, I'm going to be labeling this as the physical world, and this is the transdimensional, the transdimensional tower, the 4D tower. Here we go. So the bottom one and the bottom screen is just nothing but a cube, right? Watch this. A cube with an upstairs. Upstairs. There you go. Do you see upstairs? <coughs> and there's nothing. There's nothing weird about this cube. It's. It only. It only ever gets as big as a cube. That's all it ever does. But inside this cube, there is a portal. If you look up here in the transdimensional vision, it's actually a tower. So. You can ascend. So you see this cube right here on the bottom screen? This is this is home. Go up. Ascend. Ascend. And you keep getting trapped. Ascend. Can you go up anymore? Yeah. And you end up in this place right here. And you can ascend some more. Ascend, and you end up in this place, if you look at the bottom screen, in this place, it's only half a cube. This is half a cube. And up there, up here is our way back home. You stand right there and you, then you descend an indefinite amount of times. Right here is a new place to explore with an ascension point. And right here where I'm standing, there's... Right here where I'm standing is ascension as ascension, and ascension as you can see from there. <coughs> so let's explore this ascension point. Oh. Do the moonwalk there. There's nothing in this ascension point. So let's go and explore this one. And let's keep in mind that to go back home, we need to stand right here and descend indefinitely. Oh, that's a long way down. Let's ascend. I have a feeling the exit tends to be at the very end. Because that's the way I like it. I like it when the exit is at the very end. So here we have, we have ascended to the top cube. And let's check out this cube. It has a descension point right there. We came from we came from here. Has nothing upstairs. What about here? And it has the ascension point up there as well. Alright, so let's explore this ascension point. I don't think this will take us anywhere, but it takes us to this cube that has another tension point. And nothing. Send a sound. <coughs> Descend. So there was nothing here. There's a dissension point right here. I think this is where we came from. Yeah, that's where we came from. So this is our way back home, I think, if I remember correctly. Well, let's check out this ascension point. I think we should go this way. There's nothing there. Descend. Bottom, you can see this is one fourth of a cube and no exit. So send, ascend. Let's go back home. Uh, 
um, doing this quickly. I think our way back home is right there. Let's explore it just in case I'm wrong. Hmm. I'm doing this rather quickly because I only have a little bit of amount of time. I think this is home. I think this is where we came from. The first cube. Great, we made it back. Unfortunately, we haven't found our way out. But... <clears throat> so I was just playing around with this concept and... Um, let's see if the exit is right here. So as you can see, we, we appear, like every time we send or descend, it's like another cube, a two by two cube. And the two by two cubes, I mean, sometimes it's less than a two by two cube because you don't always have complete access to, to the cube. And this is definitely a maze that I would be able to find my way out. This is taking a little bit of time. And, but I mean, things look familiar. There's not too many places to get lost in. And I just want to make sure that I get everything here. There's the exit, see? So you send all the way, and you'll see, you'll see the way this, this tower looks, why it's a trans-dimensional tower. And the reason why I like to call it a tower is um, hold on. The reason why I like to call it a tower is because a trans-dimensional tower um, it's because it's all cubed. Okay, watch this. The bottom screen is the physical world, the top screen is the transdimensional vision, right? Watch this. See the tower there? If you don't see it there, right there, it just looks like a cube. See that? So, yeah, on uh, the transdimensional view, you can see the, the structure of the tower but on the physical world it just looks like a cube and it's a cube that keeps that seems like it's shifting but really it's another cube it's a cube that's at another plane and another transdimensional plane and so it's a nice concept it's a cube then another cube then another cube but it's all a cube in the physical world it's always just a cube and the tower is because tower is built transdimensionally from all those cubes that are built uh, superimposed on each other or you know in the transdimensional direction um, I made a discovery about how the structure how that structure works uh, but and how how if you're in one position of the cube if you ascend you're in the same position of the next cube and uh, so yeah, so uh, I'll explain that in, in an, at another time when I have more time.